kids in there, it's like literally it's bigger than my high school. Amasu freshman Elizabeth is going to become a resident assistant this fall. But she has mixed emotions about having a roommate. An RA's room is supposed to be a safe place, somewhere where some, any resident can come at any hour of the day or night and speak to the RA about very confidential matter. Eliza says having a roommate will be a major inconvenience. If my roommate has an issue with me, to address that she has to speak to her RA, which is me. So it's really biased. But the decision was made because of residence hall overcrowding. It ended up in a situation in the fall that students were living in triples, otherwise known here as transitional housing. By having each 300 RAs take a transitional roommate, this will help over thousands and fifty students out of triples. Kathy Collins, the director of Campus Living Services and Residence Life, said some RAs may have some misunderstandings about this decision. In a four-year average, we had 400 no-shows. Once we identify where those students are, we will be able to quickly and swiftly move those students that are living with those mentors into those vacant spaces. And a lot of us are very frustrated. While RAs and the university housing may not agree with the new policy, both groups agree that this will be a challenge at first. There's some RAs who are 24 years old, and if they're living with an 18-year-old roommate, they're at different maturity levels. I think it's just as challenging for our freshmen to live three to a room. And I think that I don't want the mentors or any of us to lose sight. That I think it's going to be challenging for the freshmen also to live with the mentor. Collins hopes RAs will work to support the decision before next semester. For Focal Point, I'm Yan Jie Wang.